Greetings, Laddingtons. I'm checking in with an encouragement. An encouragement to stop immediately if you are drinking Coca-Cola. I saw that they encouraged whites to be less white and imagine if they had said it about any other group. It would have been headlines all over the place. So I will keep it short. If you are white, show some self-respect. Do never drink any Coca-Cola product ever again. If you are not white, show us some support and do not drink any Coca-Cola products ever again. I won't go into the, you know, cultural aspect of it. I won't go into the um, anti-white agenda they might be pushing. I will actually say something I should have said a long time ago. I've been meaning to make this video for a long time, but other video ideas always come, come up. So anyway, stop drinking Coca-Cola. It's probably one of the worst food uh, items you can come across. I can't forbid it. I can only highly recommend you, whomever you are, to stop drinking it. If you drink that sort of soda with a lot of sugar, it will completely mug your teeth. It will completely destroy them. If you like soda very much, go with a sweetener instead. That at least won't um, destroy your teeth as much. Then again, it might have citric acid, which isn't good for your teeth either. So be mindful if you're gonna drink something, Red Bull without sugar. Try to minimize the exposure of your teeth to citric acid. So drink it as fast as possible. Now, on to another thing I thought to share with you a little traumatic experience. It's not really traumatic. I'm only saying it to clickbait you. I'm only saying it to be a bit more dramatic. But this was many years ago when I was still in um, in my teens. I was 13, 14, something like that. I was on the train on the way back from school. And I saw next to me sat a younger guy. He might have been 10 or so. Very chubby. He looked very unwell in his face. I saw it on him even then. You know, you can see on someone they aren't particularly healthy. And he cracked open a Coca-Cola. He started drinking it with a... Um, and almost a desperation in his eyes. He just uh, couldn't couldn't drink it fast enough. And ever since I saw that, I have been um, quite averse to Coca-Cola. So that is my own experience. Now in retrospect, when I think about it, I wish I could have helped the guy. Now, of course, I didn't know the guy. I didn't talk to him. I just saw it. The memory stuck with me. Can I do something about it now? Maybe I can save some other people from... Not only drinking Coca-Cola, but, you know, having that mentality when it comes to food and drink, etc. That you don't view your health as your primary um, priority, but you view your instant gratification. So it's up to us, everyone who's watching this. If you have someone who still might drink um, Coca-Cola or similar products... Talk to them, say it's not good for you, it's not good for your teeth, it's not good for your health, it's not good for anything. Um, so yeah, it's up to us to show a better way. No one told that guy, that young 10-year-old guy, that you know you shouldn't really do this, you shouldn't um, engage in this sort of behavior. Now it might seem like a small thing, but it's connected to a lot of different things. You have, as I always talk about, porn consumption. I'm sure he also started watching porn uh, not long after that because it's so readily accessible. Again, he has never had anyone who said porn is bad. So we need to be clear about this, that, you know, Coca-Cola bad, porn bad, marijuana bad. Uh, I don't want to be all morally superior, but I'm just saying that you will live a better, happier, more fulfilling life if you cut out certain things such as Coca-Cola or instant gratification, um, porn, uh, hard drugs, and you, if you pursue a higher goal, such as in Temple of Iron, then you post physique with the boys on Gab every Friday. It's a better way to live your life. Now also, on a last note about American cultural imperialism, there are good aspects of American culture and there are bad aspects. So a bad aspect is um, Coca-Cola, that everyone drinks Coca-Cola all around the world. It has to go, it has to stop immediately, then you have good American cultural things such as wrestling as a part of your school experience. This is definitely something if I had the 
opportunity to decide over the Swedish school system. I would definitely have wrestling as a part of your school experience that all guys wrestle. So more wrestling, less Coca-Cola, happier, healthier people, more productive people. Um, overall better for everyone. So anyway, stop drinking Coca-Cola. I think I've made my point now. Now lastly, do check out all links in the description box below. This highly aesthetic polo shirt, organic cotton made in Europe. Quite uh, quite glorious, if I may be so bold. Available at legioglorya.com. We have opened up to good old America again. Still some shipping delays, but not as bad as it was during December and January. So check it out. Also follow me on Telegram, follow me on Gab. Follow me on all links in the description box below. So, thank you for watching and thank you to everyone who will never again drink Coca-Cola. XXO, boom!